Hi guys, Elizabeth here. Going to come at you with the update for my finished 4 by 4th of July. This is probably the last one I will get in before uh, the end of the challenge. For everyone else on the challenge, hi guys. Uh, I love watching your videos. If I haven't ever left a comment and I'm not subscribed, leave your information below. I love watching these challenge videos. And to my subscribers who are watching me, hi. Uh, I appreciate every single one of you guys. I really do. I really do. And I love it when you leave comments and everything. And let's get started. I'm just like yakking all over the place. Okay, this challenge has been a lot more challenging than what I thought was going to be. The first thing I did was finish all of my tattoos. I don't, I don't think I took a picture of, I only had a few left. They were like, um, orange and yellow suns and suns with wings on them and that kind of stuff and a couple of the flash tattoos so I did finish the tattoos so I'm for sure got at least one out of four <laughs> trust me I need I need you know I need all the feel goods I can this e booth with uh, honey almond nourishing dry oil which I thought I'd have done like the first month I still have a little bit left you just Spray it on. It gives a little bit of shimmer. I put it on today. So I am hoping in the last couple weeks I can finish this off because, you guys, I have another full bottle of this. So uh, my skin has been feeling really nice using this a lot. So that's where I am. The next one, oh, please. This is the Garnier Skin Renew Dark Spot Corrector that I've been using on my elbows. And my elbows still look dirty. They always look dirty. I swear I clean my elbows. I wash my elbows. I scrub my elbows. I lotion up my elbows. And they always look like I just rolled in the mud. It is so irritating. And it's been like this since I was a kid. I mean, always. Now, I do think it has lightened it up some especially like right there um, but considering I put this dark spot corrector on two times a day I would have hoped that it would have been a little bit lighter I can't say it's not working because it did lighten up some oh my gosh I'm I'm getting in the dark <laughs> so I don't think there's a prayer of me finishing this in a couple weeks I and I am not skimpy when I put this on my elbows twice a day, I am not skimpy. I I don't know how that's all the more progress I've got. I I don't know. And then the fourth thing is my Everyday Glamour eyelashes that I have on now. I don't know if you can see from the side. Uh, oh, my gosh. The whole point of the eyelashes, I wanted to wear them two to three times a week so I could get really good at putting them on, you know quick and good and not it wasn't too bad today it only probably took five seven minutes today I only put on one upside down um, truly I'm like holding it and I put it on my lashes and it was upside down and the things were pointing down no I which was much better than last time a couple days ago when I put it on it took me 20 minutes, one side would stick, one side would not, there's like a gap between the lashes and my eyelash, and that wasn't like the first or second time I tried it. The reason this is on my four, finished 4x4 four four is so I can put them on and they're on, put them on and they're on. It was a disaster at the time before that. I put them on. It took forever, but I finally got them on. Uh, then we went to my husband's doctor appointment. I got in the car. I put my long-distance glasses on. I, I drive with distance glasses. I don't have to have them. You know, by law, I have like 20-40 vision, but I I just like to see clearer because I had LASIK, and I got down to 2015 vision, and when you've had 2015 going to 2040, then you're like, ah, I can't really see, even though technically... I don't need glasses to drive. I they're like minus ones or something. So 
not plus ones. They're not reading glasses. They're minus ones. They're distant. So I put those on. That was a long story. And I could feel that it hit my eyelashes. You know, but I didn't really worry about it too much. I got back in that car. One side was like coined up. I went through the entire doctor's appointment with like one side of the lashes just, you know, flopping in the air over my eyelid. It just. Uh, but I have them on. I only put, you know, putting an eyelash on upside down has been the least trouble <laughs> I've had so far. I've got white glue. I've got black glue. Um, I tried the black glue because uh, I thought, you know, that kind of makes more sense because I use a black eyeliner. No. Black glue does not make sense when you don't get it right on your eyelashes and then you, you've done your eye makeup and the lash hits your eye like halfway up and now you have a black stripe right in the middle of your eyelid. So I've gone back to the white glue uh, at least until... I can put them on and get them on and they stay on. So, hope it works out. Sorry this rambled on. Love you guys. Talk with you later. Bye.